Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be changing the brushes in a miter saw. The saw still runs. It, it would cut a piece of metal if I, or I'm sorry, a piece of wood if I wanted to try um, to cut a piece of wood, it would cut it. Sparks real bad inside that motor right there. And I believe it's the brushes. So we got on Amazon and I picked up um, some brushes. Uh, and it did have my um, miter saw. Uh, it had the uh, model number. So I'm hoping they fit. It did have the same model number, which they must take a lot of different models um, because I think there was probably around 50 different model numbers that these uh, brushes would actually fit. And I paid uh, $27 for these brushes um, off of Amazon. I order them from um, some, I don't know if it was a company or an individual, but anyhow, it was 27 bucks, and I ordered them on a Saturday, and I received them on a Tuesday, which was pretty good. I was supposed to not get them till Thursday. I ended up getting them on uh, Tuesday, so that was pretty fast shipping. Um, I'm really, uh, really pleased with the shipping. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started on... Uh, getting these brushes out and I'll bring you over a little closer to show you what I'm going to do. You're going to want to make sure that your machine is unplugged uh, before you get into this because this is electrical. Um, I don't know if it is shock you or not, but we're going to go ahead and unplug it before we start uh, changing the brushes. So let's get it unplugged. All right, now that our machine is unplugged, let's get started. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is right behind this plastic cap is your brushes. And there's one on this side and there's one on this side. Um, on mine, it is a plastic cap. So we've got to be careful with this plastic cap because it does have threads in, well, plastic's not as strong as metal. So you just want to be careful. And uh, so I'm going to use the biggest screwdriver that I have. Um, the slot's pretty decent size in there, so I want to make sure it fits um, fairly good. I don't want a small screwdriver where it's going to have, this one has a little bit of play in it. A uh, smaller one would be even more play. But um, so let's go ahead and just unscrew the cap here. Just like so. Okay, we got the cap out. Take the cap off. We'll set it down. And right here, if you pull this out, that is your, um, this here is your um, brush. And like I said, there's one on each side. And uh, I'm going to try to get you a little closer up, close up of it right here. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it does look like it's burnt. A little bit of wear and burn on it. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of black on my finger from the brush. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, swap these out. And uh, let's get the other one. Let's get the new one out. Okay, we got our new um, brushes. Now they came in this little cup. I don't know why they didn't come in a bag, but no big deal. As long as they work, that's all that matters to me. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, these brushes here, there's two of them. And um, they're identically the same. There's no difference in them. Everything's the same about them. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get this one changed. So, as you can see, it has little indentations on each side. Not the rounded, but the square. And this is square. So, what we're going to do is just go ahead and put it in that groove right there. Slide it down. Spring-loaded. So, it's going to be a little bit tough to get this in there. Um, but, you just put the, the uh, brush down in there, just like so. Like I said, it's going to be a little tricky because... It is spring loaded, so it's wanting to push back out on you. All right, now that we got the cap um, on it, we're going to want to make sure this is straight. Like I said before, with it being plastic, um, you could cross thread this very easy. So you don't want to put a lot of force on tightening this down. Just use your uh, just your fingertips on your screwdriver and make sure it goes down in easy. You do not want to cross thread these. Okay, we got it all tightened up. 
time to um, do the same process on the other side okay same process on the other side same cap go ahead and loosen this up just like so lay the cap right there and pull our brush out just like that now that brush there you can see is a lot shorter than the other one and maybe that's the reason as to why it's uh sparking let me get the let me get the other old one over here and show you the size comparison in the uh you can see that look how much bigger this one is than this one here so i'm assuming that's uh what uh went bad on it so let's go ahead and get the new one in and we'll see if it gets fixed All right, so we got that one in. And those are tricky to get in and out, or not out, but in, um, because you got a spring that's wanting to push that back out and you're putting a cap on it. So it does take a little bit of effort to make sure that those um, pieces are in the slot um, when it's trying to spring back on you. But uh, if you have a little patience, you can get it without a problem. Um, so we went ahead and snugged uh, that cap up, the other caps snugged up.